Today I tried to connect to my Samba share from a freshly installed Windows 11. And uh, it sounds like a mundane task, doesn't it? <laughs> but uh, Microsoft doesn't want it to be mundane. They decided uh, in the latest uh, update, I believe, to make it a challenge instead. So I googled and fixed it. So I just wanted to share this solution with you, so you don't have to waste your time going through the same googling pro process yourself. And uh, we have two problems here. One is related to insecure guest authentication, and it's a feature that was disabled a while ago, but now it seems that they also have changed the way the session keys and the cipher suits work with the Samba protocol. I don't want to dig into the reasons why it's not working, I just want to present the solution. And uh, this particular Windows instance, my instance, is running on Mac on the program called Parallels, but when I googled for the answer I noticed the problem I encountered seemed to be affecting many other people regardless of uh, what that w Windows is installed on. But uh, bear in mind that we will have to change some security policies, so only do that on your personal computer and make sure that you are okay with those new settings. And that's what we currently have. If I try to map the network drive, I mean it's just one folder, it's called YouTube, on my uh, Linux server 192.168.1.205, that's its IP address, we get that you can't access this shared folder because blah blah blah. This is the first problem we have to f uh, fix, and to fix that, let's just close everything, we open the command line interface, in search we can paste just cmd, and uh, right click to run it as administrator, not sure if it's necessary, but uh, I believe it is. And then we can type regedit.exe, which is a registry editor program. It will open a window like that. And this is the path we have to access. I will paste it in the comments as well. So you go to computer. Let me show you from the beginning, maybe. You've got computer. Here, hkey local machine. Then system. Then current control set. Services, have to scroll down to this Landman workstation. And in that Landman workstation, you click parameters. So this is the full path I was talking about. You can simply paste it here and it will take you straight to this location. And what we need to do here is we right click in this white field. So we just click new, D word 32 bit value. And we call it Allow Insecure Guest Auth. But please note the capital letter for each new word in this string. Press Enter. And it will have value of 0 by default. So we have to double click on it again. And we have to change this value to 1. And click OK. As you can see it changed to 1. That means enabled. And that's all we have to do here. So we can close it now. But still, if I want to mount a shared drive, I mean Samba share. So if I go here and map network drive, and my network drive is 192.168.1205, and it's just one folder called YouTube, I want to mount here. If I click finish, we can see the error changed now, but this window doesn't, <laughs> doesn't tell us much, yes? An extended error has occurred. We can close it. You can try to run the same in the CLI. You type net use. Then the letter for the folder you want to use, let's say X. And now the remote location. So we basically are trying to do the same, but in command line interface. If I press enter, I also have error, but at least it's something we can Google. It's system error 322732023. And this is this new feature I was talking about. The ciphers and the session keys. That's the second problem. And to resolve this one, we have to type gpedit.msc, press enter, that will open a new window here. And we will have to change some security policies. I mean, we will have to change one only. And the one we are interested in is here in computer configuration, Windows settings, security settings, local policies, security options. And in this window, we have to scroll down to, to letter M, because we need Microsoft Network Client digitally sign communications always. We have to double click on that. And you will notice here that you will either have enabled option uh, ticked or you will have no option at all ticked. And we have to change it to disabled. 
So it doesn't matter what it is, we simply have to choose Disabled. And you apply, OK it, then we can close again, and now we have to restart the computer, or virtual machine in my case. You might notice that this restart might take a little bit longer than usual. That's because those policies have to be amended in the background. But now, if I open the, this PC, map network drive, and I try to do it now, when I click finish, we can see now it's successful. So that's all regarding the Samba share problem on Windows. I just wanted to add thank you for joining the DevOps and Cloud training. We have now 71 lessons and nearly 13 hours of video content, and the platform keeps growing, of course. So thank you for using it, and I hope it really helps you to either enter the IT industry, or maybe it helps you if you are in IT already. I mean, it helps you to expand your skills. Thanks for watching. Marek, bye.